the e-commerce ecosystem, how it all works. Now, Jeff Bezos said, we watch our competitors, we learn from them, we see the things they're doing for, the, for our customers, for their customers, and we copy those things as much as we can. I have taken this same approach over the last 11 years. I have looked at every e-commerce business that looked like it was doing well, that was making the most money. I've looked at all of them and I've learned from other people in the industry. I've innovated in my own businesses and I've come up with a sort of complete picture of how e-commerce works. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. It's called the e-commerce ecosystem. And this is it in all of its glory. It's, it's kind of a lot of stuff. Now it starts with traffic, right? We have these input sources, these places that we are generating visibility for our e-commerce brand. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google, email, retargeting, comparison shopping engines, and other channels, right? These are kind of the main ones that you're going to be leveraging to generate visibility for your e-commerce brand. Now, that traffic goes a bunch of different places depending on the campaign. We've got traffic that goes to our homepage, traffic that goes to the collection pages on our store, to our product detail pages. We even have email traffic that goes directly to the checkout when we get into cart abandonment and things like that. We're amplifying content. We're, we're, we're using visibility sources, paid visibility sources to amplify content, and we are sending traffic to special landing pages. So those are really sort of the main places that our traffic goes. And it's a bunch of different places in our ecosystem, as you can see, and all of these things are happening simultaneously. It's not like you have one, you have two, you have three. It's like they're all going on together to create the outcome of a successful e-commerce brand. Now, once you get someone generally to your site, to your e-commerce store, you have this thing called the pre-purchase automation sequences. So we have some ways uh, that we'll be going through that we are using to generate leads before someone buys. That could be a straight up lead generation campaign. It's, it's opt-in opportunities on our website. And we put these people on uh, these prospects on what's called a pre-purchase automation sequence, which is an email sequence designed to get them to buy from us, to get them to complete the purchase. And we're sending the people who are on this pre-purchase automation sequence to content and back to our product detail pages. Now, once we've got people kind of you know, desiring our products, ready to make a purchase, they've clicked the add to cart button on our, on our product detail page. They move through to the shopping cart. The shopping cart, there's some interesting things happening. We have another set of automation sequences because in e-commerce, 68% of people on average will abandon the shopping cart. They'll leave, they won't even, they, they'll come, they'll look at your products, they'll add it to their cart, and then they'll totally bail. So we have something called a cart abandonment email sequence that is designed to get people back to the shopping cart, back to the checkout, and finish that purchase experience. Now, once they've gone through that and they've actually purchased, we are increasing our average order value by offering an upsell uh, or a tree of upsells. So a one-click upsell where after they purchase, we make an additional relevant offer uh, that allows them to add an item or multiple items or more of the same item to their order through uh, some technology that allows them to purchase without having to enter their credit card details again. It's a great way of increasing the average order value of having you have the ability to spend more on customer acquisition because you have these things in place that increase your average order value. Finally, they go to a thank you page and we're gonna be breaking down every element of this, how we set up every page, the right kind of content to have on those pages, all those kinds of things as we go through. Now, finally, once they have purchased from us, they go on what's called a post-purchase automation sequence. And this post-purchase automation sequence is designed to do a couple things. It's designed to get them excited about the product, to make additional promotions, to collect what I call conversion assets, reviews, selfies, videos. And we send people back to our blog for content. We send them to product detail pages to make additional offers. We send them to more information pages so they kind of know what to expect from the program and from the products. And then we also have, in addition to that post-purchase automation sequence, we have a couple sort of dynamic sequences that also happen post-purchase. Um, the other thing that happens is we are amplifying content to our customers through this post-purchase automation sequence and through our traffic. It's kind of all happening at the same time as I mentioned. So videos, articles, images, pre-sale content. So we're, we're using content amplification and branding mainly to our past customers. Now, finally, this is the dynamic sequences section. So this is designed mainly to take a customer 
and turn them into a repeat customer. And this is a very exciting part of our e-commerce business strategy, and it's where a lot of the money is made, frankly. It's the win-back campaigns, the dynamic cross-sells, making additional offers based on what, what, what was or wasn't purchased, as well as social promotions. And so, you know, those, those dynamic cross-sells are sending people back to collection pages, sending people back to product detail pages. And as I mentioned, with that content amplification and branding, we're using traffic sources such as Facebook, such as Instagram, such as Pinterest, to amplify that content to our past customers, people who visit our website, et cetera. And we're sending people to our blog as well. So this is kind of how this whole thing works together. We also send people to landing pages. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of a, um, a, a lot, as I mentioned. It's a lot of stuff happening. And that's why we're going to break down each section individually. So that is the e-commerce ecosystem. That is how the whole business runs in a nutshell. And it's very exciting and it's cool and it's also quite profitable when you set it up the right way.